Another way to share your document is to save it as an HTML document. In order to do that, let's go to file right here. Let's go to save as, click browse. And over here, you can see that in the save as type, you have an option to select HTML as a web page. So now once you do that, what you can do is you can directly click save, but I suggest you not to do not to do that. So I'm going to go into my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder here where I'm going to save the file. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to rename the file as tutor tube just like this. And instead of hitting save, I'm just going to hit publish. Once I do that, I have a publishing setting right here. So I can choose the page that I want to publish right here, or I can choose this all page. And I can choose whether I want to um, add in search pages feature, pan and zoom feature, and so forth. Right now, I just have one page, so I'm just going to create another page so that you can see the difference. Just drag in the router, that's just uh, what it's going to be. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go for export, I'm going to go for change file type, you can do that as well, and I can save it as a web page. So save as, I'm going to go over here into the desktop new folder, that's it. I'm going to save it as tutor tube, just like this, and I'm going to hit publish. Once I do that, I can enable all the features if I want more features there as my HTML document and page title is going to be tutor tube just like this. And if you have HTML knowledge, you can actually uh, edit that out as well. So there's advanced functions as well. For example, output, for example, you can go for SVG format, JPZ, PNZ, and so forth. So I'm going to choose JPZ file to save in images right here and target monitor size. I'm going to say that I'm choosing uh, something like uh, 1280 by 1024, just like that. So you also have an option to host in web pages for so host can be basic or I'm, right now I'm going to select none. You can also have different type of style sheets, just like that. So let not, let's not begin into advanced right now. So I'm going to go into general, let's press OK and it exported the file, just like that. So the file has been uh, exported. Now I'm going to select Microsoft as and I'm going to press OK and it's going to open up the web page right here. So that's the page one, page two, that's the inventory right here, that's the network devices uh, and the network equipment right here. I don't have any data right there, but anyways, you can see that I can actually navigate right here, just like that. So you can see that I have my um, diagrams right over here, just like that. I got my pages, everything in HTML5 format and all of them are saved in HTML file format right here. So I'm going to go onto my new folder and you can see that there's my tutorial files and tutorial right there. So that is how you can save your diagrams as HTML pages. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.